largest, most chaotic city in the world. I feel like there should be like a, a Gilligan cut line here of Karen going, Hey, wait a minute. Jindro, you said you was 19, right? Give me that. Chink. No underage drinking. It's just begging to be overrun by our lord. <laughs> huh. When we last left off, our protagonist uh, had just taken command of the New York Combat Review um, in his first combat uh, sortie due to the normal commander of the squad of the unit basically being injured in action. And had led them to a degree of success against demons who are attacking the Statue of Liberty. And we are, and so our current state of party is we're in decent shape of a relationship with um, with Subaru and uh, Sharon, uh, Karen. Um, we're currently on our best ranked um, position with. Uh, Gemini, but uh, Gemini is not a combat member yet. As a reminder, we level up our um, abilities with our party members through building relationships with them. So this is a game where what you actually want to do is you want to kind of gun for building your relationship with everybody. And then once you've done that, and then, yeah, build a relationship with everyone but with a particular intent of, okay, this one person is the main person who's my main person who I'm interested in, uh, from a narrative standpoint. Proxy doing readings with dialogue here. Mr. Sunnyside, are you serious? Absolutely. That would be a pretty lame joke, wouldn't it? Starting today, you shall be the Star Division's official captain in training. I believe the technical term is acting captain, but yes. Okay. For now, you've got plenty to learn from Ratchet and the rest of the team. Aha. Uh -huh. All parties where I'm reading the dialogue this time, but this time I actually remember to refill my water bottle before the stream. So I don't drop my throat. Yes, sir! Do whatever I can to help. I'll devote my life to the New York Combat Review. That's a little further than I wanted to take it, but you know what? You live your best life, Jinjiro. Devote your life, eh? How noble. The words of a true samurai. Okay. Looks like you two are having fun. What's going on? Well, I told Shin here what we talked about. He eagerly accepted my request. I'd like to say devote his entire life to us. Oh, that's great. Thanks, Shin. Now don't forget to walk the walk. And also, please don't actually don't die in, in, in action. Thanks. I won't. Please help me learn as much as I can. Along with this, Ratchet, I'd like you to become our vice commander from now on. Basically, Ratchet's going to be de facto chief, I suspect. Of course.
It's a city for home for all people's hopes and dreams. It's a kind of sanctuary. It also attracts negative energy. Ambition, avarice, and hatred are enemies. You mean those robots and that, that giant enemy? That's right. So, Mr. Captain, do you have any questions? <clears throat> well... Where did those robots come from? Actually. We're still looking into it, but we've faced enemies like that before. It's not that unusual. Heck, we destroyed a whole bunch just before you arrived here. Really? Membership, it's our duty to investigate the sources of evil as well. I understand. Now then, do you have any more questions? Well... Let's, let's just go through the dialogue. By Sanctuary. Throughout human history, our civilizations are built on massive Numa centers. Just like Tokyo and Paris, which appeared in game... I mean, Tokyo is the main... Um, 1, 2, and 4. And then Paris appeared in 3. Hmm. New York is built on land infused with lots of Numa. Because of this, the Numa packs more people, more energy, and keeps on going. I kind of like how this is implemented, because it basically means any place with a major population center is a home to a great deal of Numa. And so it's, while well, it does, to an extent, fit within a particular colonialist depiction of history of progress is a sign of culture and civilization, it also does mean that from a... Um, and from um, a standpoint of societies and that sort of thing, is that, like, places that, like, where big Numa centers are places where people will, will build and choose to settle. Um, and so, and that is not necessarily a Western thing or even a, uh, I think so, presumably, Phnom Penh, um, Saigon, uh, uh, Seoul, um, New Delhi, all of the, any, any major city is going to be one that will have a certain amount of Numa. So theoretically, if you really wanted to expand this, um, you could have, for example, um, well, you, you could have the Phnom Penh combat review. You could have the um, Seoul combat review. You wanted to do, okay, we're going to do the Korea, um, Sakura Wars Korea, for example. Perhaps you've sensed it already, but New York has a certain allure for people. It's, it's a hell of a town. The Bronx is up and the battery's down. They ride around in a hole in the ground. New York, New York. It's a hell of a town. And that's just limited to positive energy. It attracts hatred and evil as well. That's why the city needs a devoted anti-evil force to defend it. And us, us, in other words. What do you think? Pretty cool speech, right? See, I had no idea New York was so significant. I mean, again, as I mentioned, all significant cities are so significant. They're like... Tokyo has a combat review. You could probably also have the Osaka combat review, to be honest. Fighting each other, uh, um, fighting evil demons with the power of comedy duos. Um, they've already kind of implied that for the new trilogy, while they're doing, um, shit, while Shin Girl Wars is going to be, um, Tokyo, they are planning to do a sequel for um, London, which would definitely be interesting as well. Um, but yeah, that's another really good example there. Right side of the day, yes, it's really handy. It's a watch and a phone and a radio. You can actually take photos as well. It's called the Cameratron. Cameratron? I had no idea. That's really cool. 
So instead of Dick Tracy's uh, two-way watch radio, we have a pocket watch radio and camera. In other words, it's basically a modern smartphone, except this guy's is a pocket watch, and in turn and in uh, 1930s New York, 20s and 30s New York. Anyway, a garden created makes this blind movie I saw. Or, alternatively, a series of com newspaper comic strips that you may have read. Ah, that's neat. You look... freaked out, rather than uh, engaged in that picture there, Shin. So why don't you try taking a few test photos? Okay. Just a minute. Oh, let me make sure you get to frame this picture well. Zoom in. Okay. By the way, you want to use the camera turn? If not, I'd be happy to show you. Well, yes, please. Um, tutorial will be useful. Hold it up nice and steady. Do we have... <clears throat> so are we single lens reflex? Or, um, not so much. Okay, so this is kind of meant to be somewhat like a smartphone. Smart like a smartphone camera, which is sort of, a smartphone camera is to a certain degree like a single lens reflex, so they'll go through some additional processing first. Aha, it looks like the move. Analog stick. There we go, the zoom. go because that's I zoom all the way out okay so I've did this is a somewhat obnoxious tutorial I will say like so you know what It's actually a pretty decent, um... Sunny side, you're a do you're you're a do you're, yeah. I'm okay. I, I I shut you out of the photo on purpose. <laughs> oh, I dicked Vicky out of the boss. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Thought plot progresses. I gotta prove them, show my samurai spirit, and prove that I'm capable of being the new commanding officer. And here's Jiminy. Did good happen? Yes, something good did happen. Yep, 
I am Star Division Captain. I am boss, sort of. I mean, it's a good approach indeed, but Akiyama. It is good that they, it is good they got a quick promotion, though it is just the circumstances could have been better. Something other than oh, the commanding officer got badly injured in, in action and has to and has to step away from field work. All right, we're going to somewhere nice. Ah, Japan exhibit at the museum. Okay. Ah, the New York Metropolitan Museum of Art. It is indeed a large museum, but one of the things, if I ever do get a chance to go to New York, I do want it like. I want to see the Metropolitan Museum uh, of Art. I like. I've been itched at the Metropolitan Museum of Art anyway since I was a kid and saw um, Sesame Street at the Metropolitan Museum of Art. Uh, Don't eat the pictures the title or something like that. Um, also, Met Opera. Um, and two other things as well. Full week to see everything. Nice. I need to go to the Portland Art Museum a little more often, too. Yeah, the Egypt was a big thing at the like New York had like aside from the British Museum at the time, I believe had one of the biggest um, Egypt collections. This probably has narrative a uh, plot narrative significance here. Like particularly since he's been uh, like actually it did make me kind of think about that considering the last fight we had. Like, oh, who could like what could our enemy have he's been there? You know what? That's actually pretty good. Oh. Oh, I... That would pick the wrong option. The middle one. Alright, okay, actually, this is... This is the wrong choice, but it does actually work for the, pur for the purposes here of, hey... Of, uh, uh, Gemini... Does this or want to have a referral? Who wants to get on their own merits? Which, I mean, valid, but character references are important. They did, but I got a referral from my uncle, so. All right. So, it's not my first time getting a uh, points hit with her, but it wasn't too big a one, so that's okay. Sword of Overlord, huh? That is some fantasy art, that is a fantasy art freaking sword. That's not ominous at all. I just love these Japanese swords. If I had 
<laughs> you don't want the demon sword, Jiminy. Uh. Listen, Shinjiro. Japanese culture has become extremely popular. It's the hip thing. I mean, like, act legitimately at the time, he's not wrong. Um. <sighs> Um, even the, even like the 1800s, you had lots of Japanese, uh, like the Japanese wood, woodcut art, making it to Western Europe, which is in turn influencing artists there, um, and propagating and that sort of thing. So he's not, so it's not entirely historically inaccurate from around this time. But there are lots of people who just don't understand what it means to be Japanese. You know, it's funny that this dialogue because Gemini is sitting, standing right there. You said you felt the aura of the demon blade. That's because it's the real deal. Now that you're training as a captain, you must prove that you too are the real deal. I'm not exactly. Who's Kyo's Kyo's voice actor? I'm curious. Japan rests on your shoulders. No, Raid of Japan rests on his uncle's shoulder. Fate of U.S. Japanese relations rests on his shoulders instead. There's a difference. It feels appropriate to be tentative here. With one look, I can tell if someone has what it takes. Their eyes burn with hope and power. Wealthy hot blooded. Glow with a burning ambition. But uh maybe you should relax a little. Okay. <laughs> Alright. You're still growing. So make sure to devote yourself 100% every day. Okay. You're getting a cheaper Japan's bright future. Okay. This is an important Japanese piece found its way to New York. I mean, actually, in a weird way, kind of yes, because there hasn't been the same degree of colonial interaction with Japan as there was with other countries. And they are willing to borrow and steal it, much as the British, French, Belgians, Belgium, uh, and Belgium, and Germany, Spain, Italy, and yeah, yeah. America is like a child by world standards. Immigrants came here looking for a fresh start. Not entirely wrong. At this point, where we are before the cent, like. We've had the centennial. Um, we have not had the bicentennial yet. We're not even like we're almost like I think we're at 150 years at this point approximately. And meanwhile, um, Britain is thousands of, is over a thousand years old. Um, no, not not over a thousand, but Britain. Britain's up there. Uh, France is up there. Which up there? Germany pretty much up there. Though Germany hasn't built his technically unified yet. But sometimes it's technically the, the Holy Roman Empire. Familiar things, you know? Some history. Wait, no, this is 1930s. No, Germany is unified at this point. Never mind. Um. But yeah, there's, there were, I was, as far as the U.S. is concerned at this time, there's we're kind of a second sort of resurgence of interest of put of the pretense of putting on other countries, uh, the interest in other countries' history to kind of put weight on U.S. history. 
Um, that's why we like we once we make a sort of neoclassical revival here as part of our deco. Um, so now they want to collect all these historical artifacts and show them off. Yes. And that includes this powerful sword. You understand? I am pretty sure this is going to be something that that is going to be a MacGuffin for a future episode. It's coming from you, Shinjiro. I'm going to call on my phone. All right. Shall we get going then? You okay, so the port. Room, All right, yes? so the important thing in the next dialogue one, we get some port character notes for some of the other characters. Johannes, you must drop your sword and escape before it's too late. Aaron's not home. Or, 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 Jimmy's not home right now. <laughs> Please leave a message and, call, and she will call back. <laughs> and this is explaining why she has difficulty making her way to the rest of. You have broken me, Sakura Wars. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry about that. <laughs> so it's getting around to showtime. Huh? <laughs> You're gonna get yourself in trouble someday, Gemini. But for now, I must return to my shop. <sighs> All right. Yeah, that sword is like that sword screams future plot point. Anything to you. All right. Yep. Can I be late? Cleaning and I have to do prep. Yeah. Yep. And establishing shot to show the passage of time. All right. Okay. Oops. This is it. I'm going to die. Okay. 
Yeah, step out. Or quickly step out the door. And did not end. Also, there's the, ta the, the tattoo, which I could have remarked on, but would have gotten me in trouble. Say anything. Knock. The key word here, Shin, is knock first. <laughs> Are you kidding? My, ah, uh, getting my Mar my Miranda rights read before the Miranda court ruling. That is actually kind of hilarious. Ah, uh, anachronisms. Right, so best option here is the middle one or to say nothing. Relevant at this point. <laughs> so I am going to hell. <laughs> going. To... I'm. This is it. I'm going to die. just yet. Yep. Up on it. Over to overtime is only <laughs> it's only in the contract in the event of emergency combat sortie. Alright, so with my line with Subaru coming up, my best option is to say nothing. Alright. Here's the law. Ah. Yep. Alright, so I'm gonna this my best option here is to say nothing. So it's selling basically with with, with um, Subaru, the best narrative option is to not pry and not necessarily make a nuisance of yourself. That actually helps build a relationship with her. Okay, so how do I know? This guy actually has hit my options here for getting to. Um, next narrative bit is to get me to Harlem. Harlem. Um, and those of my options here are Ratchet and Subaru. I probably just want to go with Subaru. Give me more well, more narrative progression options there.
thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that. 